right, so in this case, I am looking at steps two and three. Step two says to trace the thick, solid black lines on the front of the cloth, right here, and remove the pattern. Then, after that, you retrace sections that are titled loop and loop and cut on the front and the back of the cloth. So what does that mean? Let me show you. So to be able to trace this, you're gonna need some kind of light source so that I can see the pattern through the fabric. So you may wanna take it to a window, or in this case, I'm just gonna have a little light box here. And now I can see the solid black lines. Now, as I mentioned there in the pattern, it says to trace the thick solid black lines. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is trace out on the cloth. I'm just gonna pull in this other pattern. You can see we've already taped it before, but I'm gonna pull in a second one just so you can see what I'm referring to when I say the thick black lines. So here, considered a thick black line, right? Even here, with the little tiny white dots on it, a thick black line. Again, here and around this button area, a thick black line. So all of those areas you would trace. But for example, you do see a nice and thin black line here with the bee trail. You also see one here with the bee wings but you're not going to trace it because it's not a thick black line. Those are things that you're gonna be doing at the very end when you've already covered the, your entire area with stitches, like you see here in this finished project, right here. And so you don't need to trace uh, that at this point. Thick black lines only. All right, so with that being said, I'm just gonna take my uh, pin here that was included in your kit and then just quickly trace those areas. Don't worry about being so precise. Just go through, make a quick tracing of it, and then you're good to go. Okay, now that you're done with the tracing, you can remove your pattern, turn off your light, and now you're at the step where it says retrace. Now, one thing I'm gonna point out uh, for you is that you can see that even when I went to trace this little flower area, well, I kind of went off, <laughs> off the pattern a little bit. So again, it's all gonna be covered in yarn eventually. Don't worry about you know having messed up um, in your mind. Just kind of scratch it out so that uh, you use the right line for your tracing. Now, the second uh, step, I'm gonna pull this up again, is to, or the next step here, is to retrace the sections titled loop and loop and cut on the front and the back of this cloth. Well, again, if I pull in this just extra piece of a pattern here, or I guess I could just even use the one that I used behind it. Yeah, I'll just do that. Any area that says loop or loop and cut, I'm actually going to retrace. Now, why would you do that? What I like to say is trust the process. So just go ahead and do it. You'll see why in another video. But to do that, I'm gonna look for loop and cut right here. And this one says loop. Those are the only two areas that I need to retrace on the front and then the back. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Once again, if I'm at this area where it says loop and cut, that means I'm going to just use my marking pin and retrace that a little bit darker, okay? And then the area that says uh, loop is this flower. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing there. Just gonna retrace that a little darker. And I do this because I'm going to retrace it once again on the other side of the cloth. This will create the perfect space for you to do a couple of techniques that I think you're going to love. I'm also gonna retrace where this button goes, okay? So with that being said, and those retracing areas being done, I'm gonna flip this over to the wrong side. I'm gonna turn on my light source again. And now I can see, because I darkened those areas, I retraced those areas, right? I'm going to retrace that on the back side. Again, this is for a technique that is called loop and loop and cut, which I'll talk about in a new video. But for right now, all that's important to know is that you just wanna follow the steps and retrace those areas.
Okay, so now the back side should look similar to this and the front side looks like that. Now that you've done that, you're ready to go on to the next step of applique.